water spouts. Some call them the twisters on the water or funnel clouds over the water. And while some water spouts are tornadoes that develop from thunderstorms or on the periphery of tropical systems, most water spouts actually develop from non-thunderstorm clouds. They typically form over tropical waters and these warm temperatures are essential to the development of water spouts. Water spouts like their water to reach the upper 80s and that's just a few degrees shy of the way you like your bath water. As the warm air evaporates and becomes rising humid air, clouds form, cooling at a rate nearly 40% slower than dry air. Now this leads to instability and moderately strong updrafts in the clouds. And when the inflow to the rising air of these clouds encounters shifting winds near the water's surface, the converging inflow can form a vortex. And as more air joins in, this vortex can widen to as much as 300 feet in diameter and stretch to more than 2,000 feet tall. And that's a larger volume than One World Trade Center, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. In extreme cases, these water spouts consist of 100 mile an hour rotational winds, and that can be as fast as an EF1 tornado. And with the perfect warm water and humid climate, the Florida Keys are the world's capital of water spout, with up to 400 occurring annually. And according to the Storm Prediction Center, their stats show that's more than the number of tornadoes hitting Tornado Alley in some years. The long-term average there, about 268 tornadoes a year. You've been Brainstorm. Sam Champion, The Weather Channel.